Chris, Joy, you heard. There are people out to get Jesus and his followers with big stones. Jesus didn't go help his friend before, and he was glad he didn't go. Now he wants everyone to come so they'll understand. I... I know I need help understanding. Besides, Gizmo, it's your job to protect us. Uh, I need a new line of work. Chris and Joy need to have someone very brave protecting them. It's a good thing they have me. Let us see what we can learn about Jesus and his time with Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. Lazarus, come forth. Hi, this is Joy. Thank you for joining us as we witness this great miracle. Many good works have I shown you from my father. For which of these works do you stone me? For a good At the start of this adventure, Jesus was teaching in the temple in Jerusalem. We found Jesus and his disciples walking in a section referred to as Solomon's Porch. This covered pathway was supported by rows of columns measuring 27 feet high. Many historians from ancient times have confirmed the life and death of Jesus, including Josephus, Tacitus, and Pliny the Younger. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Jesus was teaching during the Feast of Dedication. Today, this eight-day Jewish celebration is called Hanukkah. During this festival, the 34th chapter of the book of Ezekiel is read aloud. In that chapter, God condemns the Jewish leadership for being bad shepherds. God goes on to say that there is a good shepherd. In his teaching, Jesus makes it clear that he is that good shepherd. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. The religious leaders were very upset. They were even more upset after Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. They wanted to kill Jesus. It is expedient for us that one man should die for the people. Caiaphas was the high priest, a position given to him by Rome. The Qumran Jewish community referred to him as the wicked priest. Archaeologists have uncovered several large houses in Jerusalem. The high priest likely lived in one of these homes. An inscription found at one site indicates the house belonged to priests who were in charge during the time of Jesus. In 1990, Caiaphas's family tomb was discovered. This ossuary, a stone box that holds the bones of the deceased, is inscribed with the high priest's full name, Joseph, son of Caiaphas. They reported that Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. The chief priests also wanted Lazarus dead. Tradition tells us that after Lazarus was raised from the dead, he escaped to Cyprus, where he became the bishop over the island. Lazarus lived for another 30 years, shepherding the church in Cyprus before he died for a second time. Archaeologists found a crypt, or burial room, under the church of St. Lazarus in Larnaca, Cyprus. Inside, they discovered what many believed to be Lazarus's tomb. The inscription reads, Lazarus, four days dead and the friend of Christ. Now for some questions. Why were the religious leaders upset with Jesus? Was it because, A, they heard Jesus claim to be God, B, they thought Jesus was becoming too popular, C, they feared the crowd would make Jesus king, or D, all of the above? <laughs>